staff morale is absolutely critical, especially as we continue to transition to a remote workforce. How do we make sure that the work is getting done and that we're staying on top of everything? And I will submit to you that task management is the way to do that. So in this summary discussion, we're going to go over some of these common challenges within environments and talk about how we can move forward inside of our organizations. So stay tuned. So it's not uncommon for individuals within the organization to be, I guess, demoralized a little bit if they continue to have to search through that inbox and can never feel like they're getting ahead with their with whatever it is that they're assigned to. And you can see some of those phrases here, unclear vision. So when we don't have a transparent environment, individuals walk away, you know, when there is no knowledge or in the absence of knowledge comes rumor, comes unclarity, comes, you know, churn and discussion within the organization. You have to be able to provide a clear vision and that's not done through an annual vision statement, which is absolutely a good step forward, but it's got to be an everyday vision because our vision and priorities can change quickly, especially in the information and technology world, but just in, in industry in general, our technology and our needs and our business requirements change very rapidly. So we need to be able to adjust quickly to whatever those are. And that unclear vision is a challenge for a lot of environments. Another challenge is that folks never feel like they're getting ahead. They never feel like they're getting ahead of the curve. They're always stuck doing the same thing, just trying to grind it out, get to the bottom of that email box, try to just get the things done that they need to. It's very, it's very unmotivating for individuals. It seems like factory work almost not that there's anything wrong with factory work but but it just it's for a lot of folks it's just not something that they want they want to be known as individuals who provide uh vision and and they provide creativity and that their voice is being heard but when we don't have task management in our environment it's very very difficult if at all possible I forgot is a common challenge within any organization. Now, that most individuals aren't doing this maliciously. The reality is that they have too many inputs and they just can't seem to get focused on what it is that they need to produce. So that I forgot is a common error that we need to kind of push through. There should no, be no reason why people forgot forget things in the digital age. And of course, we talked about endless email. Endless email is a curse for, for all of us, staff included. So the staff and team members and us as leaders, whatever our position is within the organization, that endless email box is just simply demoralizing. We can never get to the bottom. And that's not something that you want. So we want to be able to feel that level of accomplishment that we've been able to get to the bottom of that email box and move in to action. And that's, that's what task management will bring for you. So how do we accomplish this? How do we look like that smiling face in the middle of all of this turmoil? Well, there's three primary things um, that I would submit. One is more than two to do. So more than two to do. So that means if it takes you more than two minutes to respond to that email message or whatever that means of information that's coming in, convert it to a task. More than two to do. And there are ways to convert these things to tasks that are literally a click of the button. So convert it to a task. Have the automation. That does not mean that you have to just open up a task manager, enter the task, do... No, 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 no. You can literally forward it to an email address and it'll automatically create a task for you. So it can be that simple. So more than two to do. Second part is, although I will, I will clarify, when you assign, when you get through your inbox 
and you assign things to tasks, you have to then go into your task manager and do the tasks. <laughs> they don't automatically get done, right? So the second thing here is no task left behind. So no tasks get left behind within your environment. This means the reality is that we do not have all of the time in the world to do every task that comes to us. That's just the reality. And we talked about in, in previous videos, we talked about this opportunity that we have to prioritize our workloads. The reality is we have to do that because we have so many tasks. It's okay to have lots of tasks that are not done. What's not okay is to forget that you have those tasks. So you wanna make sure that you keep your eye on the tasks and continue to address them as needed, but then use prioritization and creativity to get those things done. And the third and probably most important aspect of task management is feeling accomplished. Task management will drive into all of us in the organization a feeling of accomplishment. There is nothing greater than clicking on that button saying that that task is done. And so to do that, to optimize that feeling, we want to make sure that our tasks are very focused. They're not large, elaborate, elaborate milestones that have a hundred tasks underneath them that will, you know, are very difficult to accomplish. You want those hundred tasks. Those should be the individual tasks that are assigned to individuals, allowing them to experience this feeling of accomplishment. All of us want to feel accomplishment and task management can provide that in an unclear, never getting ahead, I forgot, endless email environment that we live in.